2009 in the United States. Events from the year 2009 in the United States. Incumbents. Federal Government. President. George W. Bush R. Texas until January 20. Barack Obama D. Illinois starting January 20. Vice President. Dick Cheney R. Wyoming until January 20. Chief Justice. John Roberts, New York. Speaker of the House of Representatives, Nancy Pelosi D. California. Senate Majority Leader, Harry Reid D. Nevada. Congress, 110th until January 3, 111th starting January 3. Events. January. January, the worst month of the Great Recession, sees nearly 800,000 jobs lost. The unemployment rate rises to 7.8%, the highest since June 1992. January 1, the BART police shooting of Oscar Grant, an unarmed man, results in protests and several hours of violence in Oakland, California. January 6, the 111th Congress convenes with Democrats increasing their majority to 256 seats in the House, and to 59 seats in the Senate. Marianas Trench, Rose Atoll, and Pacific Remote Islands Marine National Monument is established. January 9, a Labor Department report shows that the U.S. economy lost nearly 2 million jobs in the last four months of 2008. January 15, U.S. Airways Flight 1549 loses power in both engines, shortly after takeoff from LaGuardia Airport, forcing the pilot to ditch the aircraft in the Hudson River. All 155 passengers and crew are rescued with no casualties, and the pilot, Chesley Sullenberger, is hailed as a hero. January 16, Circuit City, the number two electronics retailer in the U.S., announces the closing of all 567 of its U.S. stores and the termination of 34,000 jobs. January 20, Barack Obama is sworn in as the 44th President of the United States, and Joe Biden is sworn in as Vice President of the United States. January 22, President Obama signs executive orders to close the Guantanamo Bay detention camp within one year and to prohibit torture in terrorism interrogations. January 26, Timothy Jeithner is sworn in as the new Secretary of Treasury, succeeding Henry Paulson. January 29, Illinois Governor Rod Blagojevich becomes the first state governor to be impeached and removed from office in a quarter century, and Pat Quinn is sworn in as the 41st Governor of Illinois. February. February 1, the Pittsburgh Steelers win their sixth Super Bowl, defeating the Arizona Cardinals, 27-23. The Steelers became the first NFL team to win six Super Bowl titles. February 5 poisoner Stacy Castor, known as the Black Widow Killer, is convicted of the murder of her husband David and the attempted murder of her daughter Ashley. She is also suspected to have murdered her ex-husband Michael Wallace. February 10, a privately owned U.S. satellite and a Russian military satellite collide over Siberia, scattering space debris in orbits 300 to 800 miles, 480 to 1290 km above Earth, potentially threatening satellites in nearby orbits. February 12, to honor the 200th anniversary of the birth of U.S. President Abraham Lincoln, the U.S. Mint launches a series of pennies that commemorate four stages in Lincoln's life. Colgan Air Flight 3407 crashes in Clarence Center, New York, killing 49 passengers, including a 9-11 widow and one man who was in his house. February 13, two Disney and Jetix were launched as Disney XD. February 17, Peanut Corp a peanut butter processor implicated in nine deaths and more than 600 poisonings due to salmonella, files for Chapter 7 bankruptcy just days after its CEO uses the Fifth Amendment to avoid questioning by Congress.
February 18, President Obama orders the deployment of 17,000 additional U.S. troops to Afghanistan. February 19, President Obama makes Canada the site of his first international visit. February 24, the Orbiting Carbon Observatory, a new $278 million NASA satellite designed to precisely measure atmospheric carbon dioxide levels for global warming research, crashes near Antarctica just after launching. President Obama addresses Congress, defending financial bailouts as necessary to economic recovery, and vowing economic recovery, stricter regulation of financial institutions, and health care reform. He also warns that future bailouts may be necessary. February 25, James Nishalson, the manager of an unregistered hedge fund, Westgate Capital Management, is arrested and charged in federal court with defrauding hundreds of investors in a Ponzi-type scheme. March March 2 insurance giant AIG reports nearly $62 billion in losses during the fourth quarter of 2008, and the U.S. government gives it $30 billion more in aid in a new bailout. March 3 Federal Reserve Chairman Ben Bernanke says AIG took huge, irresponsible risks. March 7 NASA launches Kepler mission, a space photometer which searches for planets in the Milky Way, that could be similar to Earth and habitable by humans. March 9. President Obama overturns a Bush-era policy that limited federal funding for embryonic stem cell research while promising that human cloning will be banned. Exactly 17 months after its all-time high, 14,164, on October 9, 2007, the Dow Jones Industrial Average bottoms out at 6,547 during the late 2000s recession, and begins to rise quickly. March 10 Geneva County shootings, Michael McLendon goes on a killing rampage in Geneva County, Alabama, in which he kills his mother and six other family members. He then kills three random civilians before committing suicide inside a factory where he used to work. March 13 a report, by the Federal Reserve says that U.S. families lost a record 18% of their wealth in 2008. March 15, AIG announces it will pay $450 million in bonuses to top executives despite its central role in the global financial meltdown and despite receiving a $173 billion government bailout. A massive public outcry follows, with Obama calling AIG greedy and reckless. March 17, the Seattle Post Intelligencer ends publication. March 18, New Mexico becomes the 15th state to abolish the death penalty. March 21, four Oakland police officers are killed in a shootout. March 22, after emitting steam and volcanic ash for weeks, Alaska's Mount Redoubt erupts explosively for the first time in 20 years. March 29, gunman Robert Stewart enters a nursing home in Carthage, North Carolina, and kills eight people and injures two others before being shot by an off-duty police officer. In 2011, Stewart is sentenced to 142 years in prison. April. April, the unemployment rate hits 9%, for the first time since September 1983, it will not drop below 9% again until late 2011. April 1, Attorney General Eric Holder dismisses the case against former Senator Ted Stevens, citing prosecutorial misconduct. April 3, the Iowa Supreme Court unanimously agrees that denying same-sex couples the right to marry is unconstitutional. Iowa becomes the third state to allow same-sex marriage and is the first state in the American Midwest to allow such unions. A mass shooting occurs in an immigration center in Binghamton, New York. Gunman Jiverly Antares Wong, a naturalized citizen from Vietnam, shoots and kills 13 people and injures four others before committing suicide. 
April 4, officers Eric Kelly, Stephen Maeve, and Paul Scullio are killed in a shootout by Richard Poplowski in Pittsburgh. Poplowski is sentenced to death two years later. April 7, Vermont legalizes same-sex marriage after the legislature overrides a veto by the governor. April 8, Somali pirates hijack the Maersk, Alabama, an American freighter, then kidnap her captain. April 12, three Somali pirates are killed in a sniper operation authorized by President Obama, freeing Captain Phillips and ending a multi-day standoff between the United States Navy and the pirates. April 18, Roxana Sabri, an Iranian-American journalist, is sentenced by an Iranian court to eight years in prison on charges she allegedly engaged in espionage. She is released the following month after an appeals court reduces and suspends her sentence. April 24, the World Health Organization calls the reported cases of swine flu in Mexico and the U.S. a public health emergency of international concern. April 27, Air Force One photo op controversy, an Air Force One backup plane, and an F-16 fighter jet fly, at approximately 1,000 feet 300 m over Lower Manhattan, in a photo opportunity organized by the United States Department of Defense. Citizens, who have not been informed of the event, are alarmed due to fears of a repeat of the September 11 attacks. April 28, Senator Arlen Specter, RPA, switches parties to become a Democrat giving the Democrats a 59-seat majority in the Senate. May. May 5 in Illinois, Nicole Abusharif is convicted of the 2007 murder of her domestic partner Rebecca Klein, having suffocated her victim to death. She is later sentenced to serve 50 years imprisonment. May 11. An Army sergeant opens fire at a military stress counseling clinic at a U.S. military base in Baghdad, killing five fellow soldiers and wounding one. Defense Secretary Robert Gates removes the top U.S. commander in Afghanistan, General David McKiernan, replacing him with Lieutenant General Stanley A. McChrystal. Gates states a new approach is needed in Afghanistan. McKiernan is the first general to be dismissed from a combat command since Douglas MacArthur during the Korean War. May 13, a tornado outbreak devastates the north and northeastern Missouri towns of Green City, Novinger, and Kirksville, killing three. Tornadoes are also reported in Oklahoma, Kansas, and Illinois. May 14, federal transportation officials reveal that low pay leading to sleep deprivation and failure to pass flight certification tests were factors leading to the crash of Continental Connection Flight 3407 near Buffalo that killed 50 people. May 19, President Obama announces vehicle emissions and mileage requirements. Under the new federal rules, vehicles will use 30 percent less fuel and emit one-third less carbon dioxide by 2016. The changes will add $1,300 to the cost of each new vehicle. May 21, the Senate passes a bill to impose new regulations on the credit card industry, curbing some fees and interest hikes and requiring more transparent disclosure of account terms. May 29, Pixar Animation Studios' 10th feature film, Up, is released in theaters. May 31, physician George Tiller, known for giving late-term abortions, is murdered during a Sunday service at his church in Wichita, Kansas. June. June, the Great Recession officially ends, but job losses continue through December, though at a smaller magnitude, the unemployment rate hits 9.5% for the first time since August 1983. June 1. American Muslim Abdul Hakim Mujahid Mohammed opens fire outside of a military recruiting office in Little Rock, Arkansas, killing one soldier and injuring another. Nebraska's statewide smoking ban in restaurants, working places, and bars goes into effect. 
June 3, Governor John Lynch signs a bill allowing for same-sex marriage in New Hampshire. New Hampshire is the sixth state in the union to allow same-sex marriage. June 10, an 88-year-old man opens fire at the United States Holocaust Museum in Washington, D.C., killing a security guard. June 11, Miss California Carrie Prigian, who had become an outspoken critic of same-sex marriage after winning her title, has her crown stripped by for alleged breach of contract. June 12, analog television broadcasts end in the United States, as the Federal Communications Commission requires all full-power stations to send their signals digitally. June 18, NASA launches the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter slash L-Cross probes to the moon, the first American lunar mission. June 22, a DC Metro train collision claims the lives of nine people, including the operator in the lead car of the moving train, and injures approximately 80. June 25, the death of American entertainer Michael Jackson triggers an outpouring of worldwide grief. Online, reactions to the event cripple several major websites and services, such as the crashing of Twitter and the abundance of people accessing the web addresses pushes Internet traffic to potentially unprecedented levels. July July 3, Alaska Governor Sarah Palin unexpectedly announces her resignation, effective July 26, 2009, citing the costs and distractions of battling frivolous ethics investigations launched against her, and prompting several media outlets to speculate that she is preparing for a presidential run in 2012. July 7, a public memorial service is held for musician Michael Jackson. It is called one of the most prominent funerals of all time, potentially reaching over two. Five billion people worldwide. After an eight-month recount battle, Al Franken is sworn in as the junior senator of Minnesota, giving Democrats a majority of 60 seats. July 22, Microsoft releases Windows 7. August. August 3, September 4, the 111th Congress takes its summer recess. Their work in their respective congressional districts focuses heavily on health care reform. Congressmen and congresswomen host public forums and town halls in their respective congressional districts across the nation which focus on health care reform issues such as whether or not a public option, stricter regulation of the health care industry, or the status quo should be offered. August 4, North Korean leader Kim Jong-il pardons two American journalists who had been arrested and imprisoned for illegal entry earlier in the year after former U.S. President Bill Clinton meets with Kim in North Korea. August 8, Sonia Sotomayor takes the judicial oath, becoming the third woman and the first Hispanic to serve on the United States Supreme Court. August 26, kidnapping of J.C. Lee Dugard, a woman who was kidnapped as a child in 1991, is freed from her abductors after 18 years of imprisonment. August 31, the Walt Disney Company, parent company of ABC, acquires Marvel Entertainment. September. September 2, the Justice Department announces the largest health care fraud settlement in history, $2. 3 billion involving Pfizer. September 8, President Obama gives a speech to students across America encouraging good study habits and stressing the importance of a good education. The speech had been highly criticized by some conservatives who said they feared the president would be indoctrinating school children with political propaganda. September 9, President Obama addresses a joint session of Congress on the importance of health care reform. Representative Joe Wilson, RSC, shouts, you lie. As Obama says, illegal immigrants would not be covered under his health care proposal. The heckling received widespread media attention. September 12, the first 9-12 Project Protest event is held in Washington, D.C., with attendance being estimated from hundreds of thousands to as many as two million people. Numerous other Tea Party protests occurred nationwide as well. 
September 18 Cloudy, with a chance of meatballs, is released in theaters. September 24 President Obama becomes the first U.S. president to preside over the U.N. Security Council. Also, at the United Nations, Obama outlines stances that his administration will take on climate change, multilateralism, and nuclear proliferation and disarmament. Rain Day, the Rape, Abuse and Incest National Network's annual campaign to stop sexual assault is held on college campuses. September 24, September 25, the G20 Summit takes place in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. September 25, at the G20 Pittsburgh Summit, world leaders announced that the G20 will assume greater leverage over the global economy, replacing the role of the JATE in an effort to prevent another global financial crisis like the one that started in 2007. September 27. Polish-French film director Roman Polanski is arrested in Switzerland on a United States arrest warrant. The Cleveland Show, a spin-off of Family Guy, premieres on Fox. September 28, Viacom rebrands Noggin as Nick Jr. and the NST Nick, using former Nickelodeon block names to rebrand those channels. All four networks, including the Nick at Night block and Nicktoons, are rebranded with a new Universal logo, replacing the iconic Orange Splat logo that had been in use since 1984. In addition, BETJ is quietly rebranded as Centric. September 29 and 8. Three magnitude earthquake triggers a tsunami near the Samoan Islands. Many communities and harbors in Samoa and American Samoa are destroyed, and at least 189 are killed. October. October 1. The unemployment rate peaks at 10. Zero percent the highest since June 1983. Late-night comedian David Letterman announces on his television program that he has been the victim of an extortion attempt by someone threatening to reveal that he had sex with his female employees. October 2, Rio de Janeiro. October 9, President Obama wins the Nobel Peace Prize, which surprises many, including Obama himself. October 12, the Chicago Cubs Major League Baseball team files for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection. October 15, in the Balloon Boy hoax, parents claim their young child has been swept away in a large balloon resembling a spacecraft, triggering an extensive rescue effort by authorities. They later admit to the hoax and are fined and given short sentences in jail. October 22, Microsoft releases Windows 7. October 28, President Obama signs the Matthew Shepard and James Byatt Jr. Hate Crimes Prevention Act, extending federal hate crime law. October 31, Seattle police officer Timothy Brenton is shot and killed in the city while sitting in his patrol car in a targeted attack against police officers. The murderer is identified as Christopher Monfort. November. November 1 Small Business Lender CIT Group files for Chapter 11 bankruptcy reorganization, which likely cancels its obligation to pay back the Troubled Asset Relief Program TARP loan of $2.3 billion that it previously received the U.S. government. November 3 Election Day, Republican candidates win the Virginia and New Jersey gubernatorial elections. In Maine, a ballot measure repeals a recent action by the state legislature that had legalized same-sex marriage. In New York's 23rd Congressional District, a Democrat wins the special election after the Republican-nominated candidate drops out due to pressure by conservatives who favor a minority party candidate. For more results, see United States Elections 2009. November 4, the New York Yankees defeat the Philadelphia Phillies to win their 27th World Championship. November 5, Fort Hood becomes the scene of the worst mass shooting at a U.S. military base when Army Psychiatrist Major Middle Malik Hassan opens fire, killing 13 and wounding dozens.
November 9, the United States Supreme Court refuses to halt the execution of John Allen Mohammed, the co-conspirator in the 2002 Beltway sniper attacks that killed 10 and seriously injured 3. He is executed the following day, November 13. Having analyzed the data from the El Cross lunar impact, NASA announces that it has found a significant quantity of water in the moon's caveus crater. 2012, directed by Roland Emmerich, is released in theaters. November 20, Planet 51, is released in theaters. November 25, Walt Disney Animation Studios' 49th feature film, The Princess and the Frog. It receives largely positive reviews and is Disney's most successful traditionally animated film since 2002's Lilo and Stitch. November 27, golfer Tiger Woods is involved in a car accident the day after Thanksgiving, triggering media coverage that the married father of two has had affairs with about one dozen women, and ultimately the loss of many of Woods' corporate sponsors. November 29, four police officers are murdered by gunman Morris Clemens in Parkland, Washington. Clemens is shot dead by a police officer on December 1. December. December 1, Virginia's smoking ban for most restaurants and bars goes into effect. The bill had broad public support. December 11, Walt Disney Pictures' 49th feature film, The Princess and the Frog. December 16, City Center, a 16,797,000 square foot, 1,560,502 hotel, casino, condo, and shopping complex officially opens on the Las Vegas Strip. December 25. Videos surface of missing G.I. Bo Bergdahl being held by Taliban forces in Afghanistan since June. The videos are not considered proof he was still living because they appear to be several months old. As Northwest Airlines Flight 253 approaches Detroit, Nigerian Al-Qaeda member Umar Farouk Abdelmutalab, whom boarded in Amsterdam, attempts to detonate plastic explosives concealed in his underwear until he is subdued by passengers and crew. He is arrested, convicted and then sentenced to life in prison by a federal court. Ongoing. War in Afghanistan 2001 present. Iraq War 2003-2011. Great Recession 2007-2009. Births. Deaths. January. January 1 Ron Ashetan, American guitarist and songwriter B. 1948. January 2, Stephen Gilborn, American actor B. 1936. January 3, Pat Hingle, American actor B. 1924. January 6, Cheryl Holdridge, American actress B. 1944. January 7, Ray Dennis Steckler, American film director, producer, and screenwriter B. 1938. January 8, Don Galloway, American actor B. 1937. January 13, Patrick McGuhan, American actor, director, and producer B. 1928. January 14, Ricardo Montalban, Mexican actor, died in Los Angeles, California B. 1920. January 16, Andrew Wyeth, American artist B. 1917. January 21, Barack Obama, an American president, was in office 2009 in the United States 2009. January 24, K. Yao, American basketball coach B. 1942. January 27, John Updike, American writer and literary critic B. 1932. January 28, Billy Powell, American musician and songwriter B. 1952. February. February 4, Lux Interior, singer B. 1946. February 6. Philip Carey, American actor B. 1925. James Whitmore, actor, husband of Audra Lindley, 
and father of James Whitmore, Jr. v. 1921. February 7. Molly B. Singer and actress B. 1939. Jack Cover, pilot and physicist, invented the taser gun B. 1920. Blossom Deary, singer and pianist B. 1924. February 12. Beverly Eckert, political activist B. 1951. February 20. Robert Quarry, actor B. 1925. February 22. Howard Zeef, film director B. 1927. February 25. Philip Jose Farmer, writer B. 1918. February 26. Johnny Red Care, American basketball player, coach, and commentator B. 1932. Norm Van Lier, American basketball player B. 1947. February 28. Paul Harvey, radio commentator B. 1918. March. March 3. Fleming Flint, Danish dancer and choreographer, died in Sarasota, Florida B. 1936. March 4. Horton Foote, writer and screenwriter B. 1916. March 13. Andrew Test Martin, Canadian wrestler, died in Tampa, Florida B. 1975. James Purdy, writer B. 1914. March 15. Ron Silver, actor and political activist B. 1946. March 18. Natasha Richardson, British actress, died in New York City B. 1963. March 20. Mel Brown, American-Canadian singer-songwriter and guitarist B. 1939. March 23. Lloyd Ruby, race car driver B. 1928. March 24. George Kell, American baseball player and broadcaster B. 1922. March 25. John Hope Franklin, American historian B. 1915. Dan Seals, singer, songwriter, musician, and brother of Jim Seals B. 1948. March 27. Sandra Cantu, murder victim B. 2001. March 28. Peter F. Donnelly, arts patron executive B. 1938. Janet Jagan, American-born sixth president of Guyana from 1997 till 1999. B. 1920. Morris Jarr, French composer, died in Los Angeles, California. B. 1924. Martin J. Klein, historian and physicist. B. 1924. March 29, Andy Hallett, actor and singer B. 1975. April. April 7, Jack Wrangler, actor B. 1946. April 9, Nick Adenhart, American baseball player and murder victim B. 1986. April 12, Marilyn Chambers, actress B. 1952. Eve Kosofsky Sedwick, academic, writer, and civil rights activist B. 1950. April 15, Ed Blake, baseball player and plumber B. 1925. April 13, Mark Fidrich, American baseball player B. 1954. Harry Collis, sportscaster B. 1936. April 25, B. Arthur, actress, comedian, and wife of Jean Saxby. 1922. April 27, Greg Page, boxer and murder victim B. 1958. May. May 2. Danny Gans, singer and comedian B. 1956. Jack Kemp, American football player and 9th United States Secretary of Housing and Urban Development from 1989 till 1993. B. 1935. May 4, Dom DeLewis, actor, comedian, writer, and chef B. 1933. May 8, Dom DiMaggio, 
American baseball player and brother of Joe DiMaggio B. 1917. May 9, Chuck Dolly, American basketball coach B. 1930. May 15. Roger McFarlane, civil rights activist B. 1955. Wayman Tisdale, American basketball player and musician B. 1964. May 18, Wayne Allwine, actor B. 1947. May 19, Robert F. Furchgott, American scientist B. 1916. May 24, J. Bennett, American musician B. 1963. May 30, Brycenia Flores, murder victim B. 1999. May 31, George Tiller, abortion physician. 1941. June. June 1. Thomas Berry, priest and theologian B. 1914. Bob Christie, American race car driver B. 1924. Ken Clark, American actor B. 1927. June 2. David Eddings, American author B. 1931. Frank I.E., American poet B. 1922. Alfred Kern, American novelist and academic B. 1924. Paul O. Williams, American science fiction author B. 1935. June 3. David Carradine, American actor, martial artist, died in Bangkok, Thailand B. 1936. Coco Taylor, American singer B. 1928. June 5. Peter L. Bernstein, American financial historian, economist and educator B. 1919. Alan Berkman, American physician and activist B. 1945. Floor Cowles, American writer, editor and artist B. 1908. Jeff Hansen, singer-songwriter, guitarist, and multi-instrumentalist, B. 1978. Ola Hudson, American-born English fashion designer and costumer, B. 1946. Richard Jacobs, American businessman and real estate developer, B. 1925. June 6. Mary Howard DeLiager, American actress and singer, B. 1913. Jim Owens, American football player and coach B. 1927. June 14, Jackie Ron, Antarctic explorer B. 1919. June 23, Ed McMahon, film actor, television comedian, variety and game show host, announcer and spokesman B. 1923. June 25. Farrah Fawcett, American actress B. 1947. Michael Jackson, American actor, singer, songwriter, and dancer B. 1958. June 27. Gail Storm, American actress B. 1922. June 28. Billy Mays, advertisement salesperson B. 1958. June 30. Harv Prisnell, actor and singer B. 1933. July. July 1. Carl Malden, American actor and spokesman B. 1912. July 4. Alan Klein, American businessman B. 1931. Steve McNair, American football player and murder victim B. 1973. July 6. Robert McNamara, American business executive and 8th United States Secretary of Defense B. 1916. July 17, Walter Cronkite, radio and television journalist B. 1916. July 19, Frank McCourt, Irish-American writer B. 1930. July 23, E. Lynn Harris, American writer B. 1955. July 25, Vernon Forrest, American boxer and murder victim B. 1971. July 26, Merce Cunningham, American dancer and choreographer B. 
1919. August. August 1. Naomi Sims, model, businesswoman, and author B. 1948. August 5. Bud Schulberg, writer, screenwriter, sports writer, and husband of Geraldine Brooks B. 1914. August 6. John Hughes, film director, producer, and screenwriter B. 1950. August 11. Eunice Kennedy Shriver, founder of Special Olympics B. 1921. August 12. Rashid Ali, American free jazz drummer B. 1933. August 13. Les Paul, guitarist, songwriter, and inventor B. 1915. August 18. Robert Novak, political columnist and commentator B. 1931. August 19. Don Hewitt, television producer B. 1922. August 25. Edward M. Kennedy, Senator from Massachusetts from 1962 till 2009 B. 1932. August 26. Dominic Dunn, writer, journalist, and father of Dominique Dunn and Griffin Dunn B. 1925. August 28. Adam Goldstein, disc jockey B. 1973. September. September 11. Jim Carroll, poet, musician, and writer B. 1949. Larry Gelbart, screenwriter and television producer B. 1928. September 12. Norman Borlaug, agronomist and Nobel Peace Prize laureate B. 1914. Jack Kramer, tennis player B. 1921. September 13. Paul Burke, actor B. 1926. September 14. Henry Gibson, actor and comedian B. 1935. Jody Powell, 14th White House Press Secretary, from 1977 till 1981. B. 1943. Patrick Swayze, actor, dancer, singer, songwriter, and husband of Lisa Nimi B. 1952. September 16. Miles Brand, Collegiate Administrator B. 1942. Mary Travers, singer and songwriter B. 1936. September 18. Irving Crystal, columnist, journalist, writer, and father of William Crystal B. 1920. September 21. Robert Ginty, actor and television director B. 1948. September 24, Susan Atkins, murderer B. 1948. September 27, William Sapphire, writer, political columnist, and speechwriter B. 1929. October. October 5, Israel Jelfand, Soviet-American mathematician B. 1913. October 7, Irving Penn, photographer B. 1917. October 13, Al Martino, singer and actor B. 1927. October 14, Lou Albano, Italian-born American wrestler, wrestling manager and actor B. 1933. Bruce Wasserstein, banker, businessman, writer, lawyer, and brother of Wendy Wasserstein B. 1947. October 19, Joseph Weissman, Canadian actor B. 1918. October 22, Soupy Sales, comedian, actor, radio personality, television regular panelist, and host B. 1926. October 23, Shiloh Pepin, notable victim of rare congenital deformity B. 1999. October 26, Troy Smith, businessman B. 1922. November. November 3. Carl Ballantine, actor, comedian, and magician B. 1917. Laura McComas, actress and model B. 1970. November 10, John Allen Mohammed, murderer B. 1960. November 15. Dennis Cole, actor and husband of Jacqueline Smith B. 1940. Ken Ober, comedian, 
television producer, screenwriter, actor, and game show host B. 1957, November 26, 2009, Aiden Duale. December. December 2, Foge Fazio, American football player and coach B. 1938. December 4, Eddie Fatu, wrestler B. 1973. Paula Hawkins, American politician B. 1927. December 5, Jack Rose, American guitarist B. 1971. December 9, Jean Barry, American actor B. 1919. December 12, Val Avery, American actor and husband of Margaret Stevenson B. 1924. December 13, Paul Samuelson, American Nobel Prize winning economist B. 1915. December 15, Oral Roberts, American minister and college administrator B. 1918. December 16, Roy E. Disney, American business executive and nephew of Walt Disney B. 1930. December 17. Elena Reed Hall, American actress B. 1946. Chris Henry, American football player B. 1983. Jennifer Jones, American actress B. 1919. Dan O'Bannon, American screenwriter, director, and actor B. 1946. December 19, Kim Peek, American savant B. 1951. December 20, Brittany Murphy, American actress B. 1977, Arnold Stang, American actor and comedian B. 1918, December 21, Edwin G. Krebs, American Nobel biologist B. 1918, December 25, Vic Chestnut, American singer-songwriter B. 1964, December 28, The Rev, American Musician B. 1981. December 29, Dr. Death, Steve Williams, wrestler and American football player B. 1960.